Hello. Um, uh, welcome back. It's been a whole minute. Hang on one sec. Why go to my buttons to press? <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Hello. It me. I am back after a unintentionally long break. And audio doesn't appear to be working. That's great. Hmm. That, that was, was weird. weird. Okay, okay, it looks, it looks like, like the audio is working now. now. Guess, Guess it was just, just a little, little weird. weird. Oh. oh. Wait. 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 That's, That's alright. Right. Hey, hey, on one, one second. second. I'm just, just going to listen to the audio preview a second. second. The second try because apparently it's not loud enough for me to hear. What? what? Why, Why is, is that, that happening? happening? What? Sorry, Sorry I'm, I'm very confused. confused. Something, Something is blocked, blocked from, from sending audio. audio. And it's still, still sending, sending audio. audio. So you can probably hear my mic twice right now. Which is fun. I could just go to restart my audio plugin. Uh, I hate life. I, I do, do all the tests before the stream. And it doesn't come up. And then, the moment, moment I go live, it goes, ooh, let's, let's do a weird thing. thing. It doesn't, doesn't work. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm very, very confused, confused now. now. How about now? No, no. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Ah. Ah. Okay. What a what a great start. <laughs> I just mashed my finger ah okay uh, apologies for the fact that I'm got like a throat sleep in my mouth I am mildly losing my voice so 
I was like, I want to stream, it's been a long time, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Um, yeah, but without further ado, today's game, we're going to be doing some full guys. So, uh, I'm just going to open the game because I don't really have anything to say. I just want to play some full guys, honestly. Okay. Sorry, bear with a sec. I'm just trying to manage something. It's currently, the music of the game is real quiet for me. Okay, there we go, I think. I really hope so. Okay, there we go, I think. I really hope so. Cool, 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 cool. Again, apologies for all the weird jank just then. I'm I'm just trying, trying, trying to get things to work, and it's... After I haven't done things in a while. A little rusty. But here we go. So, uh, yeah, I'm basically just gonna do some full guys and have some fun. It's been a hot minute. And I just wanna have some fun. I'm possibly gonna mix with one more audio thing, though. Because genuinely, this game is just really quiet. But I could not tell you why. I'm wondering if it's my headphones at this point. It was my headphones. This is definitely my headphones. That explains why my audio balancing before wasn't making sense. I balanced before the stream, and then I must have tugged the headphones out a little bit. Oh well. Oh well. Good to know it's all working now, so uh, that's that's all we can really do, you know? Um, with that now found out, let's see what's in the store first. We got banana water can, fizzy fan can thing, and stuffs. That looks mildly horrifying. Ooh, a palm tree. I want that. So I'm gonna get that, but... Um... It says there's a new show. Have your co-op buddy and blast balls to eliminate other Spartans. Ooh. I hope I get in that one, because that looks interesting. 
So it's a co-op shoot 'em up game mode. It's weird how this game now has, uh, what's this called? Like, licensed crossover kind of deals. It's, this is very unusual. Oh, it looks like I just got a normal match. I should have set to only queue the new game mode. But we move. We move. And, ah. Bashing nails is like one of the worst feelings, I swear. It's just pain. What? Oh no, I accidentally inverted my camera controls. Oh, I guess this is the new game mode then. I hate how easy it is to accidentally invert camera controls. Maybe it's just my bad, bad game control, but... Okay. Worst well, thing is it doesn't let you access... Oh, it does. It lets you access some things. No, these are just for mouse. I can't change... Uh, um. Okay, there we go. See, because I messed it up the other day like that, and it just wouldn't let me change it, and I was just stuck with inverted controls. I somehow won though, so maybe I'm just better at this game than I remembered. But we move. <laughs> nice. But so this game mode has bombs. They can just blow people up while you're on the map. That's interesting. I like that. I dig it. <laughs> That's fun. I'm interested how it'll play out in this sort of get map. I had to lost helmets to collect them. Huh. Those bombs certainly change things. The people at the back are throwing them at the people at the front. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes! <laughs> Oh, my squad mate's taking too long. First place? I've never been in first in a squad. Oh. That, that's about, that's about how it goes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take it. Also, my camera battery is already out of battery. So, uh, use this. Bit of brief interlude. <laughs> Me playing the game. I'm just gonna fix that problem right up. Yeah, there we go. Ha. Ah. There's only seven squads left already. This is a fast game mode. <laughs> I'm like, did they just not put as many people in this lobby? Or is it always this quick because of the bomb? Blast ball. Yo! 
It's a special bomb game mode where you just bomb people until you fall. It's like a brick breaker, but with boom. That's that's so cool. And there's the payoff if there's more bomb in the outside, but then you can fall, which is also bad, so. There's holes now. The music's cool though. Ooh. No. No. Uh -huh. Bombs are too effective. No! No, my teammate blew themselves up. Oh, that's that's a little sad. That's that's a little sad. That's a cool game mode though, I like that. What are the daily challenges and things? Okay, I like that mode though. I'm gonna uncue the basic show. Ooh. And just queue up for this one. Cause this one's cool. This one's, I, I dig it. I, I dig this funky fresh game mode. It's, it's just neat. It's, it's like an interesting twi twist on this game's mechanics that just gives you something different. I, I don't know. I I am currently vibing. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so it looks like it is queuing less people for this mode. There's just not as many people in these games, which is fair. <clears throat> which, yeah. Seems to always start with gate crash, maybe? I'm wondering if it's like the games are fixed because they only play tested the bombs, the mechanics in certain maps or something. Or it could just be that we've, out of pure luck, ended up with the same one twice. I don't know. You tell me. This is cool. I think this is a game goes in very much into what I was saying to people I know before about this game, which is one of my favorite things is when they make an effort specifically to diversify the games, like by putting different versions in the same queue. So like, even this one just having, um, what's this called? There's something else this game has now. Yeah. What is it? It's... One of the things this game has is just a really cool feature. Oh! Yeah, I was gonna say, it's like the extra hammers and stuff. Just having those little details in some versions of maps, it's a really small detail, but it just adds to the game. Makes it a little bit more interesting and a bit more fun. So I am excited to see that that is consistently around. Because I think what kind of made this game something that I fell off with as well as a lot of other people was the fact that we kind of lost any interest because it was always the same thing every time. So the fact that it's not like that anymore is just so good. It's just, it's just great. It has me excited. Ooh, thin ice. 
I remember playing this one before. This is gonna be hard with bombs. I'm interested how it'll go. Hmm. Ah. Oh, it's no longer a donut, it's just a stack. When I played this before, there was like a donut and it was like survival at the first. It wasn't a hole in one, but it wasn't like hexagon. the holy I don't like hexagon and that's essentially what this is You know, the worst thing of that is I didn't die, but my teammate must have died really early. That must have done it for us. It happens. I'm only going to be largely salty. <laughs> I really love how this mode plays with the bombs in play though. It's just so funny. It looks really silly. <laughs> and it's like you can definitely kind of cheese it and screw people over real bad. <clears throat> but I love that. I love being able to screw people over uh, in games, so it's, it's just the perfect combo. It's exactly what I want to see. Okay. Look at the Yeetus down there. Hey, first place. First place, Pog. In theory, it's been enough time now that nobody can perfect us. I guess it must be we were the only squad where both of us were ahead enough to get up. <clears throat> oh, look at this bean. This poor bean having to cross the whole thing. Ooh, nearly lost it there. <laughs> Qualified. Hell yeah. This one will be interesting. It's taking his time loading though.
Okay, so what they've done in some maps is they just have bombs being thrown onto the map. There's a good way of doing it, to be fair. I just screwed myself over, didn't I? That, that, <laughs> that did nothing for me. Wow, I'm not doing well on this one. I think I kind of just need to leave the bombs alone, maybe. fifth right now. We've just been pushed into the danger zone. <laughs> what? Oh, because we were only going to lose because we were tied and there were too many in the tie. Oh, oh, I see, I see. That's clever. <laughs> Guys said that very silly. Uh, no, that makes sense. That's very interesting. I didn't realize it went that way. I kind of thought they would prioritize getting rid of more rather than keeping more. This seems to be very short round. Like, even though we've only had one group eliminated in that second part, we're going right to the finale. I love the music in this stage. It's just so good. Dang, the music has even more fire as it goes on. I need to win it. Just for that, you know? There are helmets for Master Chief Awards. Including becoming Master Chief. Or Cortana. I'm assuming that's what that is. My Halo knowledge. Very low. My Halo knowledge is like, I played Halo 3 with my housemate. And that's it. <laughs> and I don't think we really paid attention to the story. I just spent the whole time asking why Cortana was being annoying on the screen. By uh, just appearing over the whole thing. And that's about it. <laughs> Cortana is annoying. This is what I learned. And I didn't even need to be told that, because I've got a Windows PC. <laughs> and I used to have a Windows phone. The worst phone of my life. I don't understand how those things ever got made. It was literally like, this joke of like, it's 20, like, 15, and all I can do on my phone is call people. What is this? A phone?
Uh, yes. That is, that, that's the Windows phone. All you can do is call people. And I don't want to call people. I want to, it's a fun fact, you couldn't even use the YouTube app when it got to the time I was using it because there'd been like some dispute with uh, Google and Google had banned Microsoft from having access to it. So the YouTube app was just a hyperlink that opened YouTube.com on the awful Internet Explorer browser that some smart ass had decided should be the native browser. Because obviously that's what people want on their Windows phone. <laughs> obviously the reason someone would want a Windows phone was because it harkens back to the good old days of Microsoft Internet Explorer. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Hiccups. It was pain, honestly. I'm yet to see what one of the Master Chief things looks like. Like, I'm trying to, like, look around and see if I can see one. But, Mino see the Chief of Masters. Are they just in a constant loop to decide which one of them wins? Wins at losing, that is. Top 20%. Is where they just highlights this top 20%. And we came first. Whew. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, I guess it just doesn't have the metal available on that map, right? That makes sense. That makes sense. This is the worst game mode. I will die. It's just Brick Breaker. Nobody likes Brick Breaker. No! Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 Wait, your squad is still in contention. You'll forfeit all awards. You have to wait till after that screen. Oh my god. I'm so stupid. How many awards have I lost because I've just been skipping out a one screen too early? Not gonna lie, I think that UI should be a little clearer. Or, like, do something a little different. 
Because there should be little, little unclear. And that's a lot of potential loss. Dang. Dang. I'm just thinking about how many times I played this game. Dang. 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 <laughs> I'm so bummed out by that now. Yo, I launched myself with that one. No. 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 I caught a uh, Master Chief. I saw that. No. <laughs> I'll take it. I took I took Master Chiefs, so I got the master of all the chiefs. And he's mine now. Mine. I want more lore about the four guys world. I know they said the Fortnite world. I think we have plenty of that and I don't even play and I know about a lot of it. I want full guys lore. And I know my friends would be like, oh, Leon, you just, you're the one person who liked arms lore. Therefore, like, of course you'd want lore of this. I'm right. Why are you booing me? I'm right. We need lore of this. Just just think about the lore. What, what would it say? What would it tell us about the universe? Like, where are the beans? Why are the beans? What's the beans... ambition in life? Are all the beans made of... like, squidgy materials? Do the beans know that they're competing? Or like, if this is a show, what TV channel is it on? If it's like, is this like on Dave? Is this like one of those kinds of shows? Or is this like on Channel 4? Because that's quite a big difference, you know? Like, is this a reality show? Or is it a sports show? Like, I have questions. And I wish for them to be answered. <laughs> like, just, I need to know. Where are the beans from? Are there continents on the bean world? Are we fighting to prove our place or not? And do the beans die when they fall off? Are there like ultimate supplies of the same bean, like a little bean dispenser? Or are we just falling onto a load of mats and the rest is TV magic? Like are we seeing the show or are we making the show? I have so many questions about these beans. Like see, cause when it reappears, was that a little dispenser? Or did they cut and edit when they have to swim back in the whole show? Hey! And what do the crowns mean? Are crowns a currency in this world in general? Because if they're a currency in general, then cool, you've just won a load of money. If they're not, you've just won nothing. You've just won a piece of metal. 
Which, considering you keep coming back on this show, is a little trash. God, there's an Among Us egg. 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 Wait. <laughs> I'm. I'm. I just fell over in my room and I don't know what it was. That scared me. Finally, Among Gussy. this the strategy It's just <laughs> what was that? I want to see who wins. That nah. <laughs> no, an Among Us one. No, no. So many progresses. We got 500 Master Chiefs. Oh my god. <laughs> I was so close. So far. I got so far through. Now all I need is to find the Lost Helmet. And then I'm done with that whole thing. Also, what's happened to my voice? I'm very confused. <laughs> Okay, so I think I have a strategy for the Boom Boom game now. I just need to be a little bit more careful at the end. It's good to know. It's very good to know. My camera is not trying to autofocus, is it? Huh. Strange. It 
turned off the mode of autofocus where it focuses on human faces. Like, camera, what are you doing? I am a human face. Well, I have a human face. Oh, it's this one. Oh. That was a game controller just out here to kill us all. Hugs. Did I get it? No. No. I want to see the risk assessment for this show, by the way. Survived. Okay, I love when I got the survived badge. I fucking die. I freaking drowned. Also, I wonder, does it group people with the same colors on their skins first? Or is it just coincidence? Because I always end up with someone with the same skin as me. Despite the fact that, like, I'm not in a team with someone I know. Because like, when I'm in a team with someone I know, we always try and remember to match up. But it's just me today. It's just me. Just me and you, Twitch. How you doing, Twitch? I could be speaking to the ether, but I, I like to imagine there's someone here listening. I really need to burp. <laughs> It's like the worst feeling when you need to, but you can't. Died. Oh, you know what my voice sounds like? My voice sounds like when I'm doing the like, <gasps> no, Cleo thing from uh, Mako Mermaids. Just out of water. I wasn't going to be able to make it anyway, nor my squad mate out, so, yeah. As much as it sucks, we move. But yeah, I've kind of just... My voice is very weird. My voice confuses me. How do I win this? Oh wait, I'm not in this one. <laughs> Need to check if I got the Master Chief. I did. <laughs> A 
Where the heck is <coughs> the one in thin ice going to be? I found the one in this, so I just need to complete it. This is a cool set of games, though. Oh yeah, that's the helmet, see? Wait, so the helmets do show up in the overview. I should keep an eye out for them, then. So there's my collaborator. Fucking wearing like the Lachlan Team Power uniform. I got a helmet and I got through the gate. Look at that pro skill and we're gonna lose. Oh, maybe not. Mm, maybe yes. Mm, maybe not. This music kind of sounds like Splatoon. Yeah, maybe not. I think I think we survived. I think it's safe to say we survived. That was a little sad to watch at the end there, not gonna lie. Yeah, that looks like Lachlan's power company stuff. What if I was playing with Lachlan right now? Can you imagine? See a Lachlan video playing Fall Guys in the next couple of days and just be like, what? Oh, wait a minute. That'd be funny. At the same time, that is not the name that Lockwood would have for their player, is it? I got this levels. Master Chief. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I love 
love this game so much. I'm going to learn how to do this round. I. It will be the last thing I ever do, and I will still do it. <sighs> After this one, though, I'm gonna, gonna quickly go make myself some tea. I think my voice could do with the hot water. This music is just so good. I love freaking people out by hugging him. No. I just got a taste of my own medicine, I guess. I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm so sad. It's exactly what I would have done, which makes it so much worse. At least they died as well, I'm pretty sure. Retribution. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh, my teammate had to die the same way. I'm interested in how it works. Dang, that was lucky at the end there. Sorry, it just got distracted by someone in a sec. Okay. So I sent you Dizzy Heights and Thin Ice. It looks like you really, you don't get points for trophies that you haven't, that you have already found. Fair enough, I guess. Um, I'm gonna quickly go put the kettle on and have a tea, we'll make a tea, and I will be back shortly. Ooh.
shoot. Thank you for telling me. I muted my mic when I went to go make a drink and forgot to unmute it. Rookie mistake, damn. Uh, hello, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream, Shiro JK. I recognize your username. Are you in the BTUK Discord? Because I feel like you are. Wait, we won? I don't know how we won, but I'll take it. Dang. That worked out way too well. You are? No, yeah, that makes sense. I saw your name was like, hmm. I know this person. Wait a minute. <laughs> Ooh. Helmet. Thought I'd pop by. No, that's cool. Thanks for popping by. It's nice to, nice to see you. <laughs> also, you must have brought some good luck with you, because I somehow have won this match, and got how many crowns? Whoa. Like, <laughs> just, yeah, I think you just brought some mega luck with you, dang. Like, I just unlocked all the things. <laughs> what? That's crazy. But how are you doing? I love this little helmet. It's just so cute. The way that they don't have chins, so it's just like, ooh, like, why his nose would be? <laughs> How's my weekend? Uh, yeah, it was really good. Uh, I went to London Pride, so that's why my voice is dying. <laughs> but like, great time. I just got to like go see the parade and walk around and stuff. Otherwise, nothing much has really happened because I was just there the whole time. But uh, how was yours? My new strategy for this is just blow everyone across to the end and then see where I can go. Other people using the save strategy. That was way too stressful at the end there. <laughs> I thought that I'd lost it by messing around. Dang. Bomb strategy doesn't work as well as I hoped. But we move. We try. There we go. Oh yeah, one thing I will say about London Pride though. The parade this year was insanely long. Like, we went to like go to, go to a few different places in London. And like, I swear the parade was just going. Like, it did not end. <laughs> I don't think... In retrospect, though, I don't think I've ever seen the end of the parade. I think I'm always ending up leaving before it ends. But, like, I don't know. It's a bit weird. So I just realized, are those being held up by giant fidget spinners? They are. The signs are being held up by fidget spinners. Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, oh no. I've never died that early. And my teammates are too. Uh... 
<laughs> oh no. Oh no, that's rough. That's so rough. <laughs> At least it's only five seconds till the end. But... <laughs> oh no. I was just about to make a comment about how I didn't think this game was that hard because it's like, I always just survive it. Um, I, <laughs> I guess it's harder than it looks. Or I just got real unlucky. <laughs> oh no. I can't get over that. That was embarrassing. I got like the best round of this game mode. Not game mode, like show type. And then that. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. I don't know how that was that bad. I blame the fidget spinners. I was distracted by their presence. Let's let's grab the the giant thing. I should just stop doing that. You know what? I'm mm. <laughs> This is gonna be the one. Just you wait. It's gonna be a lot better. It's gonna be a beautiful turnaround. Prove that I actually can play games again. Here we go. Oh, I need to find the helmet. There's the helmet. I know where the helmet is. I just need to get it. Cool. And I'm good at this one. That was just a bad optimization choice. We move. gonna do that. I was like, oh, it hasn't popped in a while. There we go. Oops. I got Master Chief's helmet though, so no matter what else, I got Master Chief's helmet and now I only need to get it in thin ice, so I've just got to work out where it is in thin ice. Look at this little bingo. Oh, he's got flippers. That's a cool cosmetic. Honestly, this game is just fun. 
<laughs> I always love when games have like animations paused to when the game ends like that. You got like a bomb just about to go. Nice. Where is Master Chief? So if I can find Master Chief in this, I will have collected all the Infinity Chiefs. I don't see it on the map. It means it must be inside, which is evil. Maybe the cannons fire. Oh, there it is. I got it. No! No! Again. You know. <laughs> I mean, I got Master Chief's thing, which means I'll effectively, when this ends, plus I gotta see how my teammate does, because they might survive long enough, but, um, there's a chance that I've got everything I need for the Halo game mode, in which case, considering I have won it once, I'll switch back to normal team normal shows, which I am better at anyway. Oh, we made it? What? Even with me doing atrociously, we made it? I mean, I'll take it. That should be us. <laughs> My teammate's just apparently a lot better than I am. I respect. I hope these bomb ball things come back again for other game modes though. They're funny. Sure, if you're still here. Have you played Fall Guys before? Wait, there's a cup head? I had no idea that was a thing. They explode on impact, I see. I did not realize that before. I thought they were exclusively timer based. Oh, well maybe they uh, maybe they are. Strange. Wait, it's just us. It was just us at the end, that's so cool.
that. Nice. Also, now I understand how the, like, star fragment shard things work. And we've completed the Spartan Showdown. Which means I'm gonna change to normal solo shows. But that's so cool. I'm glad I got to 100% that. And yeah, so... So you can either get shards, or you can just get crowns. But shards become crowns now, basically. Ooh. Like, there's a half-coloured, half-gold thing now. Ice cream cone. Have I found any crowns? Uh, so, I did just get quite a few crowns from doing the... What's this called? The Halo one? Like, I won it, and... It converted all my crown shards, so I'd say I'm doing a decent job of crown hunting. Uh, trying to do some like normal squads now that not squads, normal shows now that I've done the Halo thing to its completion, which is cool. But uh, welcome to chat, Space Spiffman. How you doing? <laughs> I love this game so much. I, it's I'm relatively good at it now as well, I think. I've been playing with my friends recently, and even when I messed up my controls and the controller wasn't doing what I was supposed to, I won one and I was just like, I'll take it. <laughs> this is where I then contradict myself and do awfully. Doing alright, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. Just kind of vibing, like, I'm glad to be back. I had to have, like, a break from streaming because it was, like, my final major project at uni. So this is the first time I've streamed in, like, three months because it was just coursework. But, like, we move. It feels good to be doing it again. But, um, yeah, otherwise, doing, doing pretty good. These are going way faster, I'm not sure. There we go. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, it's just a nice time to get back into everything. game. It's just like a better version of the Battle Royale formula by having these little short, quick games. At least for someone like me who doesn't have the attention span. <laughs> there we go. But, uh, yeah, like, do you like playing Fall Guys as well, then? <laughs> Just looking at all the costumes. There's some really cool skins that I didn't know existed. What's the map type? I kind of hate how this is just like a random cycle, and then the actual loading screen that will show you what you got isn't this. It was time for a 30 minute water was I match. Exactly. Like, what I love with this is if I want to sit down and play it for ages, I can. But then I can also just like play two matches and then go to someone else if I need to or want to. There's options, and it just. It feels more fun like that. Just by playing out when it came out on Xbox. I wanted to play it since it first came out. Yeah, I know so many people like that. Like, a lot of people I know, the only console they own is Switch. So, 
when it first came out, they thought it was on Switch, because it's like, visually very much like a Nintendo kind of visual style and stuff, I think. And then they were really upset that like, actually, no, it's PlayStation exclusive, you can't play it. <laughs> But it's really cool that now everyone can, especially the fact that it's also free. It's nice being able to play it with friends. And crossplay is a nice touch too. Damn it. There we go. But yeah, and like, I, it's just, it's nice to me how quick it is. Because we were also having issues of like, if you have like, say, me and my friends who normally play stuff online, there's like five of us. And then it's like, someone's got to sit out while we do a match, and then we'll swap out. Fall Guys, that's relatively quick. For something like Warzone, yeah, like, you don't want to be the person who sat there for 30 minutes doing nothing. <laughs> just twiddling your thumbs on the voice call, like. It's not worth it, whereas this, it's nice and quick. Ooh, I haven't played this one yet. Oh, my camera needs battery change. My setup for camera, you will quickly see, is mildly changed. But, we move. But, how good are you, I guess, is the real question. If you're into playing Fall Guys and just died. No! Thank you, win. I'm so annoyed that I bumped into the thing and lost the penguin. Because I would have been fine with the penguin if I still had it. Oh yeah! <laughs> I feel like I kind of, like, cheesed that a little. But it was like, oh, the penguins are just getting stuck over here, like, that's easy. I love the style of the these maps. Like, the kind of bamboo forest aesthetic. It's so nice. Boom. Wait, that fool guy was like abnormally tall. Yeah, look at the pig guy. They're like a tall fool guy. <laughs> I want that skin. I'm not good. I think my best fifth is my best finish. That's fair. I think like to be fair, fifth is pretty good because that means like what consistently getting to the final or the round before the final, which like does still like. I mean, that's like, you have to be at least fifth to get there, which a lot of people just can't even do that. I know people who drop out in the first round every time. Some of these being people who've played it a long time as well. Oh, I hate this game mode though. This is game mode really annoys me. It kind of just feels like a departure from what I like about this game, because it's all physics based. Um, like, I like that this game's mostly like, can you platform and stuff, whereas this is just, can you physics? No! Game 
No! I don't... I don't think the characters have enough, like, fine control to really decide where you want the ball to go with this. It's just about where it hits on your body. Which, again, when it's physics-based, it can be a little, little janky. Like, I always end up in situations like this where there's nothing I can do to win, and I'm just running the counter. It's so annoying, because I was doing pretty well in this round. But, yeah. Now we've got to wait for the round to finish. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, my, my main tip is, like, make sure you really just know the maps that come up in the second to last round. And then the last round. Oh, and don't forget to grab the crown if it's the one where you run up and grab the crown. The amount of people I've seen who've been getting to the crown first and then don't grab it, it's real, real bad. I can see why it happens though. Ooh, this is a final round I haven't seen. I might quickly watch part of it before I quit out, because obviously I'm not in this. But again, it's always good to know what final rounds are. Oh, I see it's a maze. No, okay, that makes sense then. I don't need to see all of that. Sometimes the order of those buttons is very confusing. Fuck. Damn, Riku. But do you have any gold cosmetics as well? Because I know most people have like the one item that they really want to get and play with when they start the game. Like, I really want the long full guy now and also the Among Us one. They're like my two. <laughs> so I mean, the Among Us one's in the battle pass, so I can get that. But the long full guy, I don't know where I'm getting that from. <laughs> Maybe I'll just have to wait till it comes in the shop. Ooh, clearly loopers. I haven't looked too much into cosmetics. That's fair. Do you have a favorite map at all? Because that's probably why I have a big question. <laughs> because like, I really like this one, for example. I've only played it like once, but it just felt really good. Like the one with the fake floor and gold path. Oh, fair. Most people I know hate that one, so I'm surprised, but I mean, that's fair. I do like that one, but yeah, I know it's a bit divisive. I like it because one second is teamwork, next minute it's every move for themselves. No, yeah, I definitely like that about it. Like, I'm not like a massive fan of it, but I do think it's really funny. 
I love seeing how it goes from like everybody just like huddled up, like, ooh, who's gonna take the next step? We're all gonna die. So yeah, just like, well, uh, bye, bitch. But like, <laughs> it's so funny. Because yeah, it's just, just sudden turnover. I feel like I'm a bit of a dick in that one though, because I'll kind of like grab other beans and like pull them over the gap and then let go, see if they fall through. Because it speeds up the game. <laughs> but at the same time, I know I'd hate if someone else did it to me, so. <laughs> Say what you will, I guess. But, I don't know. <laughs> don't mind me just pressing buttons because I don't remember what they do. Uh, <laughs> I like the two lap ones. <gasps> yeah, I love the two lap ones. This one's pretty cool too. I really like the races. I think they're probably just like my vibe in general. I don't think I've played this race much. Because the winter season was kind of when I fell off playing the game regularly. I love as well, though, the amount of variation on some of the maps. Ooh. I don't think there's anything I really hate, but the score points ones aren't my favorite. That's fair. I can definitely understand why the score points ones wouldn't be up there. They can definitely get annoying. Damn it. They should have a course editor. Oh, they should. I would love to make courses in this game, actually. Like, yeah. Just the race ones like this. Yeah. Like, they could definitely do that as well, because they kind of use the same assets, they just have, like, different themes. And it'd be interesting if they had, like, a show that was just, like, the custom maps or something. Because obviously they could do stuff like make it so you have to finish the map to make it qualify. And then, like, they could rate the maps by, like, difficulty, by how many people have passed them. Oh, not wall guys. This one's a little annoying. <laughs> Purely because it requires the grab mechanic a lot. People do not remember the grab mechanic exists. <laughs> Do the Mario Maker 2 kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Because I think Mario Maker really showed, like, how to make a good level designer. This is where it gets trickier. No, oh, the problem is everyone's pushing this, so you can't use it. It's a good thing that I am pretty decent at this game. 
platform of this course. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think the play of that course kind of showed, like, it's an interesting one. Like, I do like it, but also, mm, it can, it can get <laughs> real bad real fast. I forget this game has emotes. <laughs> I kind of wish that you got to like stand at the end of the level when you'd finished, just so that you could like play with the emotes more. Hey, there's one of the Among Us beans in a. <laughs> what is the next course? I really want to know what that one with the Triceratops is. Every time I see it in the thing, I'm very intrigued. Ooh, pipe dream. Pipe dream is not bad. But yeah, and like stuff like the pipes, you could build those into a level. Do they have the full halo armor or just the helmet? So I think you can get the helmet and the armor. It's just a lot of people have the helmet right now because the special thing that ends in like two days, if you're 100% it, you get the pink version of the helmet. So you don't have to like get really far through the battle pass or buy the whole thing you can get that pretty easily i love the music in this one Ooh. I really love these little sombreros. I don't know why. They're just fun. I was looking at the bit at the top that says how many people qualified. Wait! No! I thought I qualified. Someone qualified a second before. No! No! <laughs> Damn it. Damn. That's so rough. It's literally like seconds. Ah, oh, damn it. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Damn it. Happened to me the other day, just was qualifying. Yeah, it's the worst, especially like with that one. I thought I made it. I was like, just about to say like, dang, that was really close. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, really, really close to being a success. <laughs> Damn it. So bummed. <laughs> it, it's the worst. <laughs> <clears throat> but I think that's what tends to happen when races come up later in the levels. Because when you have races early, you still have a lot of like worse players. Or like um because you got so many people and the allowance is quite high. It tends to kind of like separate everyone out a bit. 
but when it comes up later, it's always like, you're pretty certain who's getting in and who isn't, and then someone doesn't get in. And I think someone just there did have the full Halo set. So, it might be worth keeping an eye out in the bit at the end. Yeah, yeah, so Starman, Statman Fisher, top right, has the full Halo set. So, I was right that it isn't, yeah. I figured it must be because um, with the Assassin's Creed one, you can get the whole suit. It's kind of cool how they're doing some of those now. It's it's neat. I just want the octopus and stuff. <laughs> There's so many silly costumes that they keep showing. Ah, uh, seesaw. <laughs> See, this is another of the ones that I lord as maybe perfection, maybe the worst thing ever. So, yeah. On another light. No. <laughs> but these levels single handedly prove how many people understand physics and how many people don't. Like, it's so funny to me the amount that the seesaws always get messed up and then people are always complaining that the seesaws are messed up. pink one, that is not doing so hot. <laughs> yep. There we go. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> Mildly panicked. <laughs> How the beans in this look as well. Just this game is such a good one in like character design because it's such like simple character design, but it's just so funny. They are the perfect shape for falling off things and looking stupid. <laughs> Also, I gotta give props to this controller for not conking out on me after I spilled tea on it earlier. <laughs> Freezy peep. Oh, I like this one. Again, not one I've played much of, but it's fun. <laughs> it's an interesting idea for a stage, like the way that everyone kind of spawns around the curve. <gasps> it's a good way of like, making it come to a logical like, conclusion. In terms of like, everybody collects up into one point over the level. So you got like, some nice space at the start, and it's not too hard, and then you get like halfway up, and there's everybody. 
I'm starting to think the other route was probably more efficient. But there's more beans behind me still, so it's fine. It's always interesting to me, like, which people will be, like, who are the beings who stand and wait? Or, like, the people who come to grab you at the end of the level. It's like when the game started, I remember there was, like, these little comics someone was making of those. <laughs> where it's like, you're getting right to the end of the level and then you just see this bean standing right there and there's one left. And they're just taunting you. Ooh, jump club. I don't know how I feel about jump club. Hmm. Oh, you also a question. How do you feel about team games? Because I know they're very divisive. Oh, interesting. It has two green things today. And the things are being shot. I haven't played one, but I don't like them. Fair? I screwed up just there. <laughs> but you know, yeah, you, I think, like, is there any particular reason you don't like them already, or? But, because, like, I'm assuming you've just seen, like, how Tail Tag goes down, which is fair enough. I think that's a pretty common experience. Team Tail Tag has nearly brought me to murder multiple times. One side's over. Fair. I missed the thing. Ooh. 
At least in solo, I think it should be every beam for themselves, not, oh, I got stuck on a bad team, so now I'm out. That's fair, yeah. I think, yeah, that, I definitely feel that. In squads, it makes a bit more sense, because it's like, well, you're in bigger groups anyway. So if you put in an even bigger group, like, eh. Or, like, they do set it up so that you get the team games when it's just your squad. Because there's only four squads left, and I respect that. But, yeah. In teams, it feels a little... A little strange for that to suddenly be a requirement. <laughs> also, just want to say, uh, thanks for sticking with me. Like, through the ad and stuff. Obviously, Twitch, it kind of... Gives us no choice but to put ads on at some point, whether it's when you join the stream or as you watch. Um, yeah, thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> I appreciate it. I, I know how easy it can just be to be like, oh, this is annoying. <laughs> totally understand the ads. No, I'm glad. Thanks. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's just an annoying one. It's like, when I hit affiliate, I was really excited. And then I realized that it meant that I was stuck in the ad thing forever. And I was just like, okay, but I don't know what the best way through this is. Like, it's annoying. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna just try and destroy one of these layers. That way, most people will fall through my layer. This is stressful. No! No! Damn it. Ooh, I got an achievement. Hexagon is the hardest gauntlet round, I feel like. At least for me, I can never, never do it. <laughs> like, slime, not slime climb, the race one. Hell yeah, and stuff. That one. I know there's strategies for Hexagon, and I'm getting better at them, but, ooh, it's a toughie. I like that one, but it's hard. No, yeah. It's a lot of fun, but boy, is it difficult. <laughs> My heart rate's always so high doing it as well. Like, it's ridiculous how stressed I get. So for the Among Us one, I need to get to level to a 36, so it's 10 levels from where I am. I don't remember when the season ends. But we'll just keep going. Keep on trucking. Don't know why that's a phrase. I just think it's a funny one, so... I don't know. <laughs> just remember, I need to sort out my emotes on here. I made a new one the other day, and I haven't added it yet. I need to do that. I just think it's cool that there's now like follower emotes and things. It means I get to give people more things. Because uh, speaking of, I'm gonna be that person for a second. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider hitting the follow button. <laughs> just means you get to know when I'm doing things again. I don't know. <laughs> You don't have to, though. I always like... Yeah, to chat to people again. Hey. 
Thank you, Space Smith Man, for the follow. I appreciate it. <laughs> Wait, is that Among Us one dead? That's so cool. <laughs> well, yeah, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm trying to get better at remembering those like call to action things. It's like... I know that there's definitely streamers that I would have followed in the past had I remembered it was a thing, so... So, this is such a good game. Dang it! Normally I manage to stay on the high road the whole time, so this is a bit embarrassing for me, but we move. No. No. Damn it. See, the nice thing is though, a loss in this is still so quick. Like, we could be back in another match in a second, and maybe I'll actually do that correctly. I like that one bit is hard. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know, I think it's typically one of the ones that I'm relatively consistent at. But, like, I think the thing with this game is you can just, like, at any time have a bad round. Especially because, obviously, like, mathematically, there's only gonna be 42 passes out of the 60 so like You will be the 18 who don't get through occasionally But like it's fair It feels Balanced it doesn't feel like you're losing out Too much because as I said you can just hop in a new one Big fans. I'm a pretty big fan of this one. Ish. <laughs> I know so many people who hate this one. Whenever I play this in squads, that's annoying. It kind of feels like I'm always waiting for like a team member to survive. No! kidding me. Last one with the spinning rail always gets me a couple times. Fair, yeah. I think with this one I'm getting a little cocky. And that's what's screwing me over at the moment. Stuff like that. I can see why that gets people. I think the problem I always have is I try way too hard to be quick. And sometimes you need to be quick. Sometimes you don't. And being quick will mess you up. Like, I think that might have cost me the level. No, it clipped it. Normally I don't do this bad. Okay, yeah, that was on me. Not looking good. Damn it. I mentioned the word physics a few times that you're a science person. Kinda, yeah. Like, I'm weird because I'm... I mean, I'm a film student, so physics technically shouldn't be my area, but I'm basically like the film student from a family of scientists. I had the grades to go study science, I just didn't feel like it, so science is kind of my thing as well. Okay, yeah, I've lost this. <laughs> Don't know what was with me in that one. 
I feel like I got way too cocky. I was like, oh yeah, I can do this quickly. No. Nope. I need to slow down. I will try that again. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, like, my answer would be like, kinda. Like, physics is definitely fun and I do like it. And I know a lot about it. But I don't know if it's disingenuous to say I'm a science person purely because I'm not studying it actively. Are you in science then, or are you more of a games, not games, like a vocational kind of deal? Yay, track check. I'm gonna try and do this one without messing it up. <laughs> might mean I don't read chat for a second because I think I don't think that's helping I because I haven't streamed in a little while I'm a little out of practice of doing the whole reading two screens at once but also I mean not gonna lie if you see my VODs I'm not the best at playing games while streaming anyway I think it adds to the charm Too many people taking the high road nowadays. It makes it really hard to do the high road when there's loads of people on it. Oh no. Okay. Damn it! The tolerance for that one has got so much higher. Like, people have got so much better at it in like the last week. Cause I used to like guaranteed being the first couple people in that one. Damn it. I like science and watch stuff on YouTube here and there on random stuff. I wish I had the mind for it, especially space stuff. That's fair. I mean, yeah, that's the thing, because it's one of those topics that can be a real, lot of fun to look at and, and learn about. I'd argue, though, if you're interested in it, that you have the mind for it, though. Because I think, like, at least in my experience, anyone could understand anything if you put your mind to it. It's just, like, having the willingness to spend the time, like, I mean, it's like me and chemistry. I am awful at chemistry. But I was studying it, so I had to be good at it. And my mom's a chemist, so... I mean, I, I learned. <laughs> it... Like, the difference between that and arguably more difficult physics was purely the fact that I have a drive to learn physics because it's more interesting to me. Like, I don't know. I might also just be saying bullcrap, <laughs> like, I don't know how much of it is actually, like, true that anyone can, like, do any science, but I, it definitely feels to me that, like, people sell themselves short on the idea that they can't do stuff, or learn stuff, and it's like, I've definitely met people who were like, oh, I'm really bad at this, and then, like, could get it, they just need someone to explain it a certain way or whatever.
where our radio message in a sec when I'm not dealing with like a hundred beans trying to use the same pinball machine. Ooh. Makes sense what you're saying. I could learn it with some work. I guess just having the minds like Big Bang Theory cards is what I meant. Have you seen the show? No, yeah, that's fair. I think like there's definitely an aspect of for some people it will just be easier, yeah. But I think like it's to me at least it's about finding the passion for something. If you can find like pinpoint that reason why you're interested in it and work off that you can do anything and i think that that's probably the most awesome part of it is that you can just like build off that passion like if you're really into space hell yeah look into some space stuff like especially because there are people who will be like oh yeah but you're not an astrophysicist you don't know all the maths it's like so what there's a lot of stuff in science that doesn't require that maths like one of the coolest things that i think there is in science is how for a load of the like solar panels on big satellites they called in a load of origami experts to work out how to fault that stuff and like how to build new joints and devices like creatives have such an importance in those spaces as well. It's awesome. That's cool. I didn't know they brought or in origami people. That's a really good idea to bring people like that in. No, yeah, exactly. Like, it's such a clever idea. Because, yeah, like, you're trying to get this really big thing small. Like, that's origami's whole deal. Origami's all about doing that sort of thing. And as well, like, making joint mechanisms out of paper and stuff. Like, I have a little origami crane somewhere behind me. Like you can pull its tail and the wings flap. They might not have been thinking about it as engineering, but that is definitely an engineering feat to like distribute the force of you pulling in that one place and it use these joints. And that's really smart. It doesn't come from a place of science necessarily to some people, but like, no, that's science. It's, it's just really cool. I love stuff like that. Especially because, yeah, it really shows, like, how actually creatives are really important to a lot of this stuff. Since you're a movie student, who are some of the directors that give you inspiration? Hmm, good question. Uh, probably... Let's see. Like, I love Wes Anderson. I love his style and his, like, dialogue where characters are just kind of <laughs> flat. Uh, say whatever. Um, I really love... What's his name? Uh, Ryan Coogler. Uh, not Ryan Coogler. Like, Ryan Kugel is cool. Obviously, he did Black Panther and stuff. I really like, 
John Peel. Like Us is probably one of my favorite films, and Get Out is definitely up there. I love Wes Anderson. Hell yeah. Wes Anderson's just good fun, you know? Like, I love how his films look. Like, you show someone a Wes Anderson film, they know it's a Wes Anderson film. Or if they don't know, it's probably just because they haven't paid attention to any directors. Like, such a cool style. Exactly, yeah. but Wes Anderson is such a unique style that's easy to spot. Yeah. No, yeah, exactly. Like, if you don't know what Wes Anderson looks like, you have to be, pr like, missing a lot. Like, uh, if you've ever seen a Wes Anderson film, you know his visual style. No! No! For a minute, I thought I wasn't gonna get in just because I'm like, getting stuck. Like they show a still shot of an exterior of a building and people just moving through it. Yeah, the like dollhouse thing is so cool. It's such an interesting way of filming, but it's crazy the amount of work they have to put into to fulfill that. Like, you can't just find a house and film there if you're gonna film like that. You've got to build an entire house without one wall. It's crazy. But like, or like maybe you can cut the wall off, but I'm pretty sure I've seen stuff where like for some of his films, they've had to like practically build whole things with like holes in them and stuff. So they can like feed cameras across sideways and stuff. It's really cool. But it's definitely the kind of thing that like you can only get away with if you are a big shot director, like, I would love to make stuff like that, but I mean, imagine having money. <laughs> the reality of a student filmmaker is coming up with a really cool idea on a script, and then having to look at it and go, okay, but how much of this is actually doable? And then having your friend look at your script and go, mm, probably like 50% or less. <laughs> Golden Peels 2 movies are incredible as well. Yeah, I just love Get Out and Us. I'm interested to see the next film he makes. I'm pretty sure it was announced, right? I just can't remember. But somewhere in my mind, I know what it is. Sorry, I'm also just concentrating a lot here. This is a real tricky one. No! Damn it. Nope. Hmm? Is that name of a film or? see who wins this. Don't even want to watch the trailer for it. Oh, fair. No, that's fair, yeah. <laughs> it's just interesting to see what people like John Peel make. 
Oh, that's the name. Okay. No, that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm very intrigued to see what is going on in his mind. Like Us was such a great film. Like, not necessarily the horror I was expecting or hoping for. But definitely an incredible project that works all the same. It's just, it's just so great. We need more directors like Jordan Peele, because also it's the fact that like, it's just, it shows that when you get like these diverse casts and just try something different. Sorry, I think there's someone at my window for some reason? What the fuck? Start to a new John Peel movie. I hope not. It's just like takeaway drivers who don't seem to understand that knocking on my window is really weird. Like my housemate's probably getting a delivery. And rather than ringing my housemate or knocking on the door, they're knocking on my window while I'm in the middle of a game. What happens to you and tell the world your story? <laughs> One way to deal with it. Like, I hope my housemate gets that food, but I'm in the middle of something. I don't get why they don't just contact the housemate whose food it is. check and make sure what Okay, well, I don't know if my housemate got their food, but the driver's gone, so I'm a little concerned. But it's like, there was literally nothing I could do, so... Uh, swear to God.
I got my ultimate dick out of that food. But that's really weird. I don't get why they do that. I just want to do well. I just want to. I want to win. I want to succeed. <laughs> I feel like at the beginning of this, I was like, oh yeah, I'm really good at this. Like, I can't lie, I'm doing worse because it's live. <laughs> but that sounds like such a cop out. Because, like, if I wasn't live right now, like, I wouldn't be able to prove it. Especially because I bet that I'd still do badly if I was recording. In fact, I'd probably do worse because there I'd be trying to fill commentary even if nobody's responded to me in chat. Like, because while I do try and talk to chat when there's no one in chat anyway, so you don't have a pressure to talk to me specifically, it's also like, that only works so much. These have got a lot harder since I last played this level. Interesting. than they used to be. This one must get harder the more you play the game. I've played this one a few times and it's never looked like that. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's nice to know too, because I guess that means as well, if I'm finding it so hard, maybe it's just that I'm in lobbies that have scaled to this difficulty. Yeah, that was real complicated. Dang. But I've never played it and it been that complicated before. No, not this one. I hate the keep the tail games. That's the tail. There's the tail holder. I 
feel like the tail shouldn't have started with any one of us and should have been somewhere that any of us could have reached. Is my problem with this. No! No! You just score points how long you have the tail. Yeah, I think that'd be more fair. But I don't like that it starts on one player because I feel like you get a distinct advantage from that alone. Like, even if it's taken off you, you know how the other players are going to fight you. Like, I hate final rounds like that. Because that just felt like there wasn't really a chance. Uh, I'm pretty proud to know that the uh, Survive the Block Party one is harder for me than it is for you though. Because I think that does say that it must have more scaling than I thought it did. I didn't think this game really scaled lobbies, I thought lobbies were random every time. But maybe the reason I'm finding it harder is because I've just gone up my internal rank somewhere. away from qualifying <laughs> yeah Ooh, this one's different see this is the other thing that i find interesting there's so many variations of levels not as close as yours but close <laughs> yeah, it happens though yeah i do love how much they vary the levels this is such an interesting little diversion from normal gate crash. I do wonder as well if this is what they do for harder difficulties. Is they just increase the number of like variants? one too bit of a similar concept for the gold path one yeah yeah it's like that's the thing it's not the entire like it's not entirely new it's just a, like a nice little remix and yeah I'd never seen that ending before either but it's nice to see it because it just means that the game gets old slower. The fact that there's stuff like that, or yeah, like the fact that the block party was so different from that one. It means that you really have to keep working. 
getting too good for your own good. <laughs> Maybe I am, yeah. I don't know. I'll take it. <laughs> Last time I played Slime Climb as well, the slime was rising so fast. I don't think I'd seen that before, so we'll see how this goes. Hopefully this isn't too hard. Because I like Slime Climb, but I'm only so good. <laughs> Especially while streaming. Like, yeah, that has a zero gravity section? That's mad. Look how fast that slime is moving. No! Perfect stuff for a user create level. No, yeah, exactly. I'm so annoyed. I could have done it. Mm. I've only done this one once, I really like it, even when I didn't survive my try it. Yeah, it's hard. I used to be able to do it perfectly every time. I'm really annoyed that that one I failed, but we move. I think, I don't know, things are just hard. But yeah, that would be the sort of thing that I'd love to see more variants on, because that, I think, is normally pretty samey. The anti-gravity on that was, like, the first real deviation I've ever seen of it. And, like, it's an interesting one, but I don't know if it's good enough. Just as, like, a change-up. But it works, so... the rotating rings. I don't think I've played this one. Oh wait, no, I think I have. All ne they need to do is make each of the assets random. Yeah, like even changing the order of them on that one would be interesting. But like, even what they have already, they do a pretty good job of just making it feel diverse.
second. Do you have any idea of how many different courses there are? I have no idea, especially because, like, every season... Like, obviously, we're on Season 1 right now, but this is Season 1 Redux. There was a Season 1 before they, like, started the game over, pretty much, with the free-for-alls. So, every season they added a ton of levels. And then they added a ton again, so, like... I don't even know how many are in the game now. Especially if you consider ones like that block party one, for example. I would consider that different enough to the other block party that it's a different stage, just with the same concept. And if you in include that as one of your parameters, I don't even know how many there are there. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, because it's like, it's the fact that I've played this quite a bit now, at least since it going free for all, because it's been like the game that I've been playing with a lot of my friends as we've like split off for the end of uni for this year. And even then, like there are levels that I have never played and ones that come up on the photos that I have no idea about. Did the volleyball one for the first time today. Wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. At least it's 1v1 so you can control your own fate. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I really hate the volleyball one. It kind of feels to me like I do better in the chaos of a group thing where I can slip between the cracks. I'm not good at actual 1v1. And as well, I don't really know how to control where the volleyball goes very much. So it tends to kind of not do what I want. Seesaws are messed up on this one. People mess up the seesaws so bad. <laughs> No! It was like just enough level that I could manage it. Dang physics. Yep. Yep. Ish. It was like tipping, but it was still level enough. And then someone had to go and ruin that. Damn it! If people were better at physics, I would still be in. I'm gonna maintain the argument. <laughs> am I salty? Yes. Uh, am I wrong? Not necessarily. I hate this. If everybody just had a dang GCSE in English, <laughs> not English in physics, <laughs> it'd be a different game right now.
Have I ever even played this one before? That one's cool, I like it. It has so many different sections and things on it, but I love that. That was really cool. Woo, woo indeed. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was gonna make that one, it was a little close there. But to be fair, of course I never played. I like it though. I want more courses like that. Out. Okay. At least it's not crown rollout. Because that one's stressful. Hmm. Okay. problem with these ones is the fact that because it waits for eliminations, they can get so hard. Ooh, hello, Cookie Lifei. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Trying to prove that I'm good at Fall Guys, and I think partially because I'm streaming and concentrating on commentary, doing a very bad job of that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's partly as well with this one, like, because it's based on eliminations. Nobody's dying, so we just have to keep going. My attention span is not that long. At least the music's a bot. So far, it's pretty sub. Wow, I see how it is. Have a drink? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't think it's possible during this game. So I will have to drink afterwards. Oh, God. Afterwards, but yes. I shall hydrate. I don't think I've actually had any water all day, not gonna lie. Oops. Ooh. 
Ooh. That was so intense at the end there. I nearly died like eight times. Okay, hydration time. Me and the guys are falling. <laughs> yeah. That's a mood. Oh my god, though. <laughs> I don't know how I survived that. Oh, not tail tag. Tail tag is my biggest nightmare. And now my nose is really itchy and I don't know why. Yeah. I'm gonna come around and steal your PC. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna have to hide my PC. The description's a bit messed up. Yeah, there's like a weird bug. I think because my PC has, um... What's this called? I think because my PC has a Switch controller in it right now, it doesn't know how to deal with the Switch controller as an input to like give it the things, the control input buttons, so it just kind of freaks out and tells you to press the name of the input in the game file, which I think is really funny. Ah! No, no, no. No! This is why I hate a tail tag. No! Oh my god. Yes! I'll be doing a luck. That's fair. Thank you very much for the luck. I need to add an actual thing to respond to that command, don't I? I forget how to. Actually, wait. I know how. I will do that. Because I appreciate it. Thank you. How's the, like, the, like, K-pop part everyone's side doing? It's like... Because then someone else can do the, like... I, I don't know. There's so many fingers. Like, surely you could use any, but there's like a particular one. Like, I don't think it's that. I think it might be like that. Like. I. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this one. I haven't played this one in a while. Remember the strategy was always go to the edges. Maybe not so much anymore. Oh my god. No, no! <laughs> Sorry for the scream. If I hadn't got caught on that ledge, I would have made it. No! <laughs> Like, I didn't know I was gonna have to jump when I reached the ledge. I thought I'd just automatically end up on the next surface. And then I got caught. And... Ah! <laughs> I even did a team tail... Well, not a team tail tag. I even passed a tail tag. For nothing. Oh my god. 
I apologize for the stream. <laughs> I just didn't know what to do when I got that far. Oh no. Oh no. That's a little sad. Like, I, just, I just panicked real bad. <laughs> that was a bit weird at the end for sure. Yeah. Like, I was pretty sure it was just gonna let me just walk onto the next surface. But no. <laughs> it said no. And so instead. <laughs> Here we are. I'm not salty. Everybody knows that chocolate doesn't taste good when it's salty. Therefore, Chucky cannot be salty. No, 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 no. This is about to get messy. Decided that I will take the route that is furthest from everybody else messing up the seesaws. Do you say no salt and chocolate? Yeah, like, I don't know. I know there's like sea salt chocolate, but in my personal opinion, sea salt in chocolate is, it's very much the, there's like a thing in The Good Place where they talk about like one of the most human things is ruining something slightly so that you can have more of it. And that is my stance of what salted chocolate is. Like, it's not bad, I like it, but it's kinda worse. Also, I find that like if I have too much salted chocolate, I just feel sick. It's like when you've like gone to the beach and drunk too much seawater. I made that sound like I drink the seawater by choice. Uh, I go surfing and stuff. Uh, so you kind of naturally end up drinking a lot of seawater if you're wiping out a lot. Or like sometimes water just gets kind of forced in your mouth and you're like, oh, now there's water in here. But <laughs> yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it, it feels like that. It feels like that suddenly the beach is in your mouth, and there's nothing you can do about it, kind of deal. I wish this, like, screen though, that you got to see the beans go all the way down if you lost and there was like a loser's bracket or something. That'd be cool. You do have a good point. No, I think about it. Sea salt's good for the first couple bites, but you can't eat too much of it. Exactly, it's just not as good. <laughs> like, it just dehydrates you as well. <laughs> if I wanted to be dehydrated, I'd just be myself because I forget that water exists because I have ADHD and don't look after myself. <laughs> I don't need the chocolate to make me dehydrated. I'm already dehydrated. Speaking of, I'm gonna drink more water now because I keep forgetting that that's a thing to do. Like, I have this app that, like, rewards you when you, like, do your daily tasks. Which is kind of cool. It's just a good way of, like, tackling the fact that I'm really bad at doing things. But, oh my god. The, like, the fact that I've had to put drink water as a task to do <laughs> says a lot about my ability to keep myself alive. So bad about hydrating myself. Yeah, yeah. It's it's real easy to be bad at, right? Like I am awful at hydrating myself. Went to get a glass when Cookie Life I redeemed it. 
that. I forgot. Now I have a glass. Hey, well done. <laughs> I'm proud of you. We can hydrate together. <laughs> it's quite incredible, you know, that, like, water's one of those things that the human body needs to live. And we're all so good at collectively forgetting that it's a thing. Like, it's so funny to me. Evolution really did, like, hit a dead end when it reached me. And it's just trekking along now, trying its best. Whoa! Thank you so much for the sub. Dang. Thank you. Don't really know what else to say. <laughs> uh, enjoy your frog emotes, I guess. Uh, also, if you want me to draw you a frog that's saying thank you of any sort, do let me know. That is a thing I do when I remember. Uh, <laughs> oh, my thing has need of a new battery at the worst time. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, it's slime climb. It's a slime climb, but different theme. Which also means that was a real dangerous time for me to decide to do a load of uh, camera messing. But uh, we made it somehow. take you up on a drawn frog whenever you get the chance okay uh let me just add that to my to-do list now do you have any particular requests for what you want your frog to look like because now i'm out of this round i might as well <laughs> write that down and if i add it to my to-do list on here it should get done noted that down. Uh, I will be back in one second. Sorry about that. I just suddenly realized I really need the loo. Uh, a space frog duo, whatever you want with that. But yeah, I've put down make a space frog, and that is now at the top of my to-do list. And it's set up so I get points if I do it, so I will do it. <laughs> that way, when you become a famous movie director, I can say I knew about you before it was cool. See, I have a frog. <laughs> oh, that's fair. But thank you. I, I really appreciate the sub. <laughs> it helps me out a lot. Uh, it's just... I don't know, it just feels nice, you know? 
like hopefully I can make sure that I give you the content that makes your sub feel worth it <laughs> is really the thing. Uh, also if you're not in the discord already consider joining there because you also get the frog emotes unlocked across discord so like I don't know I, I really like that as a feature because that's just a thing that twitch lets you do and it means that you get all the things. Does exclamation mark Discord not work? Hang on. That's weird. Huh. And toss doesn't work either. I must have broken my bot. Um, hang on. I will dump a link. Because that's weird. <laughs> what happened? That should just work. What happened? Like, oh, oh no. <laughs> Oops. Well, I'm glad to know that doesn't work now. Because I can fix that. But that's very weird. <laughs> like... Huh. Oh, I think I know when that broke. At some point I changed my Discord bot provider because I was using Stream Labs and now I use Stream Elements just because they give you more like granular control of a few things. And I guess it didn't copy over my bot settings even though I thought I imported all that. No! Damn it. And it's been fun hanging out with you for the last who knows how long. That's fair. And uh, thanks, I'm glad. <laughs> it's very much like, now that I'm able to stream again, my goal is to just like, be doing it regularly again too. It, like, it sounds like something I'm just saying, but genuinely it like, sucked so much not being able to while I was doing my final work for uni for the year. But it was like... Yeah. It was like so many things went wrong that like I really just had to focus on uni work. Uh, it was destroying me <laughs> like... I'd like open Twitch to go to stream and then I'd get a message from something about s someone about something else that had gone wrong or I'd look at the deadline and I'd just have to close it again <laughs> and I was just like dying. I was like, there are people currently sub to me and I'm not giving them anything. People have unfollowed and I don't blame them, but this is where I'm at now. But I'm very glad to be back. And I'm going to be making an effort to not end up with such a big gap ever again. Because consistency is kind of my thing. Or at least it was. <laughs> I can't say I'm the best streamer ever, but I can say that, like, you'll know that I stream regularly when I can. And... Hopefully, they're fun. <laughs> Genuinely don't know why I'm doing so bad at Fall Guys today, though. Like, I'm gonna blame it on the anxiety of it being the first stream back. But, I don't know. I was doing so well, like, literally yesterday. But, <laughs> we move. Although, it is now a new day. It just turned the fourth it's happy monday everyone so in which case because it's because it's now monday maybe maybe i'll turn over a new leaf maybe i'll suddenly be really good again because it's not the same day as the same day i started my first stream back <laughs> that's the logic i'm going with because uh i don't know why not <laughs>
I'm also proud to report that the part of my hand that I spilled tea on and then didn't do anything about doesn't seem to have, like, blistered or anything, so... Probably only a first degree burn, so we move. We vibin'. <laughs> there is SBMM. Then you might be getting caught up in a higher level now. What does SBMM mean? Also, why is this loading taking so long? I just have to close and reopen the game. Though I'm a little skeptical that I'll do anything. Also, welcome to the Discord. Uh, sorry, it's a bit dead at the moment. Uh, again, didn't stream for like three months because you knew why. Skill based matchmaking. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it definitely makes sense if that's the case. And I do think that the. Uh, block party level is pretty good evidence of that because I hadn't even seen it like that before but I have no idea this is taking a long time I'm gonna nuke it and re reopen it because that that's not, it's, it's normally a pretty fast loading game, and that's not even like a matchmaking loading screen or anything, that's just like a UI loading screen. An error occurred while updating Fall Guys, what? Oh, did maybe an update drop and it can't load without the update? Like there's like an essential hotfix or something? Now it just says it's running. Uh, <laughs> bear with. Uh, the, the wide of my face while I have to tinker. Oh, the internet's having a moment. That's fun. Uh, sorry about the stream suddenly dropping there. For some reason, the moment I closed Fall Guys, Steam just was like, oh cool, I can now update and download new games. All of them. I'm going to download 20 games. I looked at my network and it was at like a four, it was at like a hundred percent and using 40 megabyte download. Which I didn't even know this computer could like get to. It's insane. <laughs> Four Guys is reopening, though. I think it was just having a moment. The eternal black void. <laughs> This is a great sign. Uh, did we break full guys? This is just, it's just black. Oh, oh, progress. <laughs> we got the little smiley face in the corner. Ah, here we go. Because it's like, as much as I should go to bed, I might as well go to half past now. Especially because that will have almost hit four hours on this stream, which is crazy. I love how I wasn't supposed to do a long stream because I was like, oh, I've got to protect my voice. I'm losing my voice right now. 
about that. <laughs> Responsible? No. Fun? Sure. Uh, <laughs> it's taking a long time to look for players, though. I wonder if something happened on their end. Because I know the other day there was a problem where it was like, um, the matchmaking went down because Epic went down, which was not very epic. But, uh, I mean, we move. Okay, yeah, the fact that there's this weird version of this level again, I think is pretty compelling evidence that there may be skill-based matchmaking. <laughs> I'm also seeing far less of the beans with the, like, default colors and items now. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's because they're all in lower ranking. It's interesting it makes a, like, fail sound when you hit a bad door now. I don't think I used to do that. ending is weird. I don't know if, like, the, the hammer can actually get you there any faster than anything else. That was a mess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a real mess. <laughs> but I think it's also the fact that as you get, like, a higher, like, a level of player play, all the players are at the same point. So they just bunch up. <laughs> I love DoorDash. But DoorDash is hard. Ooh, short circuit. It's a, it's a lap one, hell yeah. We love lap ones. Never done this one before though. Because also, I remember my friends saying that they thought that the levels were fixed for the season. But I'm getting a lot of levels that I haven't played before, so I think maybe the levels are based off the skill as well. Or, they've done like a mid-season shuffle and unlocked more maps, because I was saying that that was a possibility. That they would unlock more maps as the season went on and players got more familiar with the current ones in rotation. Because like, that also makes sense to do. This one is a mess.
Ooh. I like this one, but there's a lot going on. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> like, a lot of that was me just trying to work out what the hell I was looking at and what the next obstacle was. Especially with the, the moving things that go up and down. I like that, though. That was cool. Definitely, like, was scared not to get through purely because I was still learning it. Like, a lot of that was me just kind of jumping around being like, what is happening? But <laughs> we knew. Ooh, pipe dream. We like pipe dream. But how people doing? <laughs> like, I hope you are having fun. <laughs> It is very interesting just to see how crazy complicated this game has gotten. <laughs> I feel like people optimize routes by looking at them in this one. I just kind of roll with whichever one I end up in. Which is probably a really bad strategy, but... If this game had, like, a practice mode, maybe I'd min-max it, but from when I thought I was going to fall off the back, I'd have been so angry. No! way more fun than I thought it would be. Yeah, fair. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad it's fun though. Because this game is like... I think it's one of those ones that has the potential to become very frustrating. And if it's not, then that's great. I thought that was going to be me missing it by a second again. And I was like, oh, I should have just gone up the thing rather than waiting for the balloons. But, whew, just made it. I hate when it's that tight, though. That, that was concerning. What have I just done? I just made my hair even more messy than it already was. Ooh, this one. This one, I earlier was like, oh, it's not that hard, it's really easy, and then proceeded to die straight away, so I'm gonna try and be a bit more diligent this time. I love the music. No, that was close.
Need one more elimination. Ooh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> it's those ones where it's like, it waits till the number of eliminations always stress me. Because, like, it could just get so much more complicated and so much harder before anyone dies. Or someone could die straight away and then you're fine. But you never know. <laughs> Every match will be so different just because of how long it lasts. And that's cool, but it's also terrifying. Oh, not Jump Showdown one, okay. Jump Showdown for the crown is hard. That one took a while. Yeah, normally it ends faster than that. But I think the players in this seem to be very good, so... That's probably a way to be an ass and get this totter moving. Probably, yeah. same side, so this is going to be interesting. It's just going to be about timing. Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm just concentrating real hard right now, guys. <laughs> There's some frogs in the chat for emotional support. I don't know. <laughs> No, they grabbed me! Uh, <laughs> did they grab me? I need to see that back now. No, yeah, they grabbed me for a second. It threw off my jump. That person was good. Yeah, but also, uh, that was a mean tactic. Had I known about that tactic, I'd have done it to them. Ah. Uh, I think they were the person clocking, talking smack. Yeah, I think so. Dang. Dang. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. <laughs> that was so close. Second is better than I would have, than I have ever done. Hmm? Fair? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I need those crowns. I want to win. <laughs> Your full guy's street credit is safe with me. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> it's, 
it's something that I really want to uphold, you know? I've got to keep it. I've got to prove my worth. I'm pretty, but yeah, I'm pretty proud of, like, how I can get to finals in Full Guys relatively regularly. I'm just frustrated at my progress today. I feel like the whole time people have been watching, I've been doing not so great. What? That's so weird. When was the last time you played? Like three, four days ago? I don't know. Was it wait, one of those full guys has giant eyes. That's crazy. Uh yeah, I don't know. It was like probably No, it would have been a Wednesday. Or Thursday. No one wants to see a stream a win. Chance to see a stream of struggle. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I guess anyway, yeah, then we get like a kind of underdog arc. When I finally win one on stream that's a solo and not like a squad or something. Like, then it'll be like, whoa, hell yeah. Yo, Leon did it. <laughs> I'm actually manufacturing a storyline right now. Build up that arc, exactly, yeah. Telling a story here, folks. <laughs> yeah. A story of the ages. I'm gonna have to edit the VODs down though, so it like has like a whole like TV arc. It's gonna be uh, short enough to consume form. I'm still weirded out by that one where I passed over the finish line and was still standing there, though. That's so weird. Like, that makes no sense to me. I nearly didn't get in because I had to run back around, which I was not expecting to have to do, but... <laughs> Or you could drop a three hour piece of Jacobson style tale. <laughs> yeah. That would definitely work. I do need to actually remember to export my stream VODs more. In fact, I forgot to record this stream. <laughs> I'm really bad at like those things that you're supposed to do as a streamer to like help your content out. I just don't do them. really annoying because it's really easy to do and the only person that screws over is yourself
Oh my god, no! I was like, I need to prove to myself and to chat that I can do slime climb. And then, I need to. And then I did it. Ooh, feels good. Nicely done. Thank you. <laughs> when I got booted down a level at that point, I thought it was over for me. I was so sure that I just lost it. Did that person just die? <laughs> oh no. I want to see if the purple among us died. Okay, they did survive. <laughs> I thought they died. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, that's a little sad. <laughs> they missed the timing of crossing the thing. That would have been so sad. The swiveler. Hell yeah. Okay. We love this one. The swivel is weird because, like, it can be really forgiving or it can be really punishing depending on where you fall. Like, there were times there that could have just ended me. The Among Us with- not the Among Us, the full guy with the giant face is gone. That's a little sad. Ooh, it's that one that we saw before that we didn't get to play in. So there's a maze up to the crown. Okay, these are all locked. Someone made it past. Where was the exit? Damn it. What is this? Yeah, that's a cool one. 
but I really want to know where the exit was. They must have taken an entirely different route from everyone else. It's really cool. Yeah. I really like that. I'll take it. We haven't hit four hours yet, so I'm gonna keep going. That was a very good round, though. It's just that end maze it requires finding the right route. How could I do better at that one, I wonder? But yeah, that- I really like that one. That was a very nice final round. It was just tough. I should have bailed on the route and found a new route faster, but also, not gonna lie, I think they had just found a different route from the start and would have won at that point no matter what. I mean, my one issue with this one is starting to be so many people want to take the top route in these higher level games or at least what we're assuming is match based higher level you know. but it kind of means that you get pushed off like that because there's so many people in the way normally my strategies work and now they don't because everybody's doing them That's how you do a good map. I got knocked off one of the high roads because of the amount of people, but I still optimized the rest of it. That's why I like that map. But it's getting harder when more people take the top route. excited as well as more people play the game longer for more unique costume combinations and stuff to be around because it's weird I remember when the game first came out there were some pretty diverse costume combos but now they're all very the same because all the new players can only get the ones on the battle pass or the ones currently in the shop that day and it's only been out for like a week but obviously over time that's going to start diversifying and I'm excited to see what cool stuff we get to see after that because some of the combos of like the colors of the outfits <coughs> are some of the best looking things in the game in my opinion. They're just interesting. But uh, what, you gotta get to that point where people can uh, have variation. Gonna have a lot of fun with the designs, yeah. It's definitely clear with this game how much the devs just enjoy doing whatever they can to the levels and making new things. And then, as for the costumes, like they are wild, you can tell that the design team 
just have been given all the power. Like, I don't think they've really been given any rules. Because even, like, there's a lot of licensed characters in this. They must just, like, contact companies constantly and be like, Hey, uh, can we put... Oops, sorry, I just hit the mic. Uh, like, just messaging companies being like, Hey, can we put your character in our game as a costume? And then, like, I mean, like, look at that little guy. He's sat in a little seat. Press button that lights up to score points and defeat your rival. Ooh. I've never played in this one before. Having epic money behind you has to be nice. Yeah. That's definitely true. Epic's got to be helping them out a lot. But, I mean, even before it was an Epic Games thing, it did definitely have... Yeah, pre-epic, it definitely had a lot of costumes anyway, so I think they must always have had just deals or, like, company interest. Like, companies must have just been really down to be put in it. That game mode, that's clever. I thought Epic bought the dev studio that came up with this game. It might have. I don't know, but because it was available on Steam at the beginning. And, like, even back then they had some costumes that were licensed stuff, I'm pretty sure. Of course, it might also have been the money from the PlayStation exclusivity deal. I'm probably wrong. No, I might be wrong too, to be fair. This isn't really something I know too much about. Like, as much as game dev interests me, I don't know too much about the, like, who owns who. It's not something I'm very good at paying attention to, so... one. Again, it's very much a concentration one. So just enjoy the falling music. Second. Again, it's always second. Epic acquired them all the way back in March 2021. 
Right, but when did the game release? Because it's... I swear, like, even in, like, its first six months, there was quite a bit of, like, weirdly big stuff for a small company. But it might be that it all started when they got bought out. Okay, I was third, I thought it was second, but yeah. Maybe the fourth or the twentieth. Okay, yeah, so it was... So for about a year, it was... Non epic, which checks out. Oh, oh, you're doing disgusted American dating. You. <laughs> uh, I do my dates the correct way. <laughs> so, day, day, month, month, year, year. Do the dumb US stuff. Yeah. So I'm gonna do one last match. Realized after I died. To <laughs> yeah, I was reading it. I was like, I thought it came out later in the year than that. <laughs> and then I was like, wait, wait a minute. Does this person do dates the same way? The correct way or the wrong way? Let's find out. Okay, the wrong way. That's <laughs> that checks out. <laughs> Like, I mean, I'm gonna maintain that there's a correct way for that one, because a lot of things, like, I'll happily debate, like, you can do things how you want, like, even, like, the whole 120 volts versus 240, 240 is better, but I can also understand why you'd use 140, like, 120, but, like, like, there is a debate there, but with the dates one, US dates are just wrong. Uh, cancel me if you want, but <laughs> nah, I, yeah. I stand by it. Like, I will die on that hill. Makes more sense because it goes in order. No, yeah, exactly. Like, I will never understand the point of the other way around. I know some people will be like, oh, it's for databases, because on databases, it's mm, like when you're file when you're filing in a filing system, like you want your year that you want like to sort by month. But I'm I'm always just like, okay, but like just sort by month as separate thing like you can sort by month in its own place it doesn't have to be in the date itself like doing dates is older in databases exactly that's the other thing yeah because when people are talking about that it's like okay but that's a very specific thing like I can understand setting your camera to do it differently, but even then, the problem with that is doing month first is unclear. How do you know it's month first, not date first? So even with that, I would argue that then you should do month, month, year, year, day, day, which is even more disgusting in terms of ordering, but at least it's obvious what the month is and what the day is because you would logically understand that you're grouping by the month because the month is easy. That's the important one. You don't want to group by just the year. But then you'd also understand that the date is on the end because then you still have it and you still have that usefulness. A 202 2022 still fails. Yeah. Exactly. Whereas... I'd argue though, with that system where you have 02, 2022, 02, it's already been distinguished. Like, yes, you could argue that someone would also do the same system to do day, day, 
yeah, yeah, month, month. But at the same time, why would you? A 203-2022 does. Still failed. Yeah. That's the problem. Like, the problem is, in reality, nothing works. With the... Having those both in circulation. Because nothing ever differentiates. There's a long full guy. I'm jealous of them. The giant fruits in the way. <laughs> Thank God I remembered. At least we have a measurement system that makes complete set. Oh wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. See, my question with that is, which do you think is correct? Uh, like, I guess we'll take an easy example. Uh, mm, speed. Speed of a moving vehicle. Because this one we might agree on. Oh, yes. We love our time. for the cough. It's the same, but just knowing how much is in one thing is easier than metric. Yeah. Okay, so I said that was my last game, so we'll close off here. But, I don't know, so my feelings is, miles per hour, way better for speed. I know it's kind of controversial. But the UK also uses miles per hour, so I'm allowed to side with America on that one. I just think miles per hour make more sense. A mile is big enough for it to be substantial, but also obvious. Kilometers are too short. I don't like kilometers per hour because a kilometer is like no distance. A mile is a very easily to defined thing. Especially because I feel like maybe it's just because I've grown up in the UK, but to me, it feels like when I walk a mile or I like I walk somewhere, it's very easy to be like, hmm, that feels about a mile. It's a lot harder to walk a distance and go, hmm, that feels about a kilometer. Like it just doesn't. 
It doesn't feel about a kilometer. What feels like a kilometer? Nothing does. Nothing feels like a kilometer because kilometers don't matter. I don't know, that's how I feel. But if you knew how much a kilometer is, it would be the, the opposite. Even then, kilometers are really short. Like, I have no concept of a meter, but I do a foot. Oh, well, so we use both in the UK. So the thing is, I do know how much a kilometer is. I know that a meter is about this long. Yeah, about this long. That's about a meter. That's something that I very easily know, and I know a foot is about that much. And so I know that three foot is about that much, and a meter is about that much. I can do all that, but it just... A kilometer doesn't feel like a substantial amount. So when you walk a kilometer, you're just like, eh, just walk a kilometer. Whereas when you walk a mile, you're like, that was a mile. And it feels very solid because it's big, so you know when you've hit it. Whereas a kilometer is like, the difference between walking one kilometer and walking three kilometers really isn't that much. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. It really bugs me <laughs> that we're supposed to use kilometers places. Like, the nice thing about the UK is we have, like, a weird mix. Like, you're measuring an object? Centimeters. You're measuring a person? Feet and inches. You're measuring a baby? Pounds. Uh, length? So, length, length is feet and inches. If it's a person, if it's an object, it's centimeters and meters. It's just how we do it. I don't know why, but yeah, like, if you ask my height, I'd be like, oh, I'm like six foot one or whatever. Whereas if you asked me to measure how wide my bed was, I'd be like, it's probably about 2.5 meters. Don't know if it's really that, but I'm just having a quick glance. But yeah, like, there's no way I would ever be like, oh, that's about six foot six across. Even though that math's about the same. But that is not what I would be calling it. <laughs> Size matters. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, length. <laughs> but yeah. Well, yeah, because with that example, inches. It's kind of cool you have the two concepts. Yeah, I really like it, actually. Like, it definitely is, like, a weird one. And I know a lot of people would hear that and be like, okay, but why don't you just use metric then? <laughs> but it just makes a lot of sense to have different measurement styles for different things because I feel like in certain things the amounts are a lot more significant anyway like you're measuring something small you need centimeters because you've got to be precise but if it's a person like the reality is when you're measuring anything about a person it's probably going to change anyway you're not being that precise so going eh, it's about four inches that works. Like, you can do that and it doesn't matter if it's 4.35 inches. Whereas if you were doing centimeters and millimeters, you would need to know like the exact millimeter. But I, I like that we get to have both. Though it does get confusing because like we were doing something recently and we were talking about weight. And I do think weight should be in kilograms unless it's a baby. My ruling for this is because whenever someone says a weight in pounds, the only concept of how heavy a pound I have is I know that a heavy baby is about five pounds. So if someone's like, oh, I lifted 500 pounds, my brain can only approximate that by thinking of five very large babies, uh, fi sorry, 50 very large babies being picked up because I can't quantify pounds. Whereas like kilograms, I know how much five kilograms is. I can scale that up. That makes sense to me. Or like cars could be in tons. That's okay. Big heavy things can be in tons, but otherwise it's gonna be kilograms. But yeah, babies can be in pounds just because then they then it works around that five pound thing. But it's when people start using like stone and stuff that breaks my mind a little because it's just too many different kinds of measurements at that point. I can't track them all.
what is a stone? Uh, so let's find out what a stone is supposed to be. So a stone is apparently 6.5 kilograms or in pounds, 14 pounds. Like that's not a useful <laughs> measurement. Oh, okay, I see. So what gets confusing with a stone is that is a British one. So we give things in 14s of stone. So like, yeah, that's, it's so dumb, honestly. Like, but yeah, because people will be like, oh, I'm like 14 stone. Or, oh, I'm like 10 stone. But then that one I always hear and I'm just like, okay, good for you. <laughs> like, <laughs> what is that? But... Yeah, I don't know. But I do think that there is use in having both metric and imperial. That being said, you guys use Fahrenheit, and Fahrenheit should never be used. <laughs> Fahrenheit makes no sense. Ever. The fact that it was based off, like, the water temperature in this guy's particular town or something just says all you need to know about it. Like, it wasn't designed to be useful for science. It was designed to be this random guy's science thing and it just happened to work out that it kind of works for body temperature but like basing around water makes a lot more sense in my mind because that's pretty easy clarifiable I mean 32 degrees doesn't make sense I mean what is that see cuz 32 degrees so 32 degrees Fahrenheit that's freezing right or is that zero is that water is that water at stand or is that freezing because i know that's low that's gotta be cold but what is it whereas 32 degrees celsius i go okay so zero is freezing a hundred is boiling i can just do a basic percent and go okay well that's get it on the warmer end then it's freezing. Exactly, that makes no sense. Why is it 32? 32 degrees Fahrenheit is freezing. How would you know that? Also, does that mean that, like, what's zero Fahrenheit? How warm is zero? <laughs> like, I'm gonna have to look this up. So zero Fahrenheit is still minus 17 degrees Celsius. Wait, 32 degrees colder than freezing. Oh yeah, no, yeah, I see what you mean now. But minus 17 degrees Celsius is zero Fahrenheit. Like, why is zero? Minus 17 degrees. That's such an arbitrary number. <laughs> There's no logic. Or it's like, being like, oh, it's 24 degrees outside. That's, that makes so much sense. Okay, it's 24 degrees. Like, it's the fact that you can have temperatures in your country that are zero degrees or minus five degrees. And then you can also have the temperatures that are 140 degrees. And you're like, oh yeah, this makes sense, guys. It makes sense. You've just, like, spread out the scale so much. Whereas the, the thing of a Celsius is, like, you can feel the difference between 1 and 2 Celsius either way. But it's compressed because you don't need to know any more than that. Not unless you're a crazy scientist. And, like, if I saw 142 degrees Celsius, I just know that you're dead. I don't need to know any more than that. I don't need to, like... Even if I saw 50 degrees Celsius, I would be calling the pol like the army or something, I don't know. I'd be calling emergency services because you are dying. But like, <laughs> that's something that I can very easily map out. 
I don't know how you guys deal with it being like, oh yeah, it's 140 degrees. Like, I remember being in America once and just being so confused because we were in the car and it did come up being like, oh, it's 120 degrees out. And we were just like, okay. For Celsius, what's comfortable room temperature? So 21 is about room, average room temperature is 21, which I think makes sense. Like that is about a 10th of, not 10th. Yeah, about 20% of your, between heating and boiling water. Like, I think that makes sense because when you look at it, it's like, okay, well, we want to be on the cooler end of it. And then like body temperature is 37 degrees. So we are significantly warmer than room temperature, but it's not that far. And it means that you can very easily go, okay, well, if the room is over 37, we know that's trouble. <laughs> I mean, even in reality, if the room is over 30, we're getting towards trouble. British summers over 30 degrees are the worst. People die, people just like melt. <laughs> the roads start getting sticky as well because the roads are not designed for heat because we don't normally get it. It's crazy. Do you have AC? Nope. Uh, it's interesting because like when, when it gets really hot in the UK, there's always like Americans and stuff who are like, oh, why are you guys complaining? Like, you'll be fine. And what people don't realize is we do not have aircon. Aircon's kind of a thing in Europe, but in the UK specifically, it doesn't get hot here enough of the time. Like it's hot for a couple days a year in like a little heat wave. The rest of the year wouldn't be used, so we can't justify having it. So instead, you just have to be unbearably hot for those days. And then the other thing is, it's really humid here, so it's not a nice dry heat where you can sweat and you cool off. It's a horribly wet heat, where as you sweat, you basically just stew in it. You just get damp. The heat doesn't go anywhere, it just sits on your body because you're wet and obviously evaporation is what cools you down. It's very interesting seeing how people understand British weather because people really do look at it and go like, okay, but like, you'll, you'll cool off. You just sweat, like, what's so hard about it? <laughs> but like, no, people die here because it's just, we are not prepared for that. And it doesn't work. <laughs> I remember, like, my family genuinely being like, oh, we'll, like, go get food from, like, a nice place purely because I'll have aircon and we can get respite for a couple hours. <laughs> and then, like, the moment you leave the restaurant or whatever, you're just dying again. <laughs> At least we got lots of rivers and stuff you can, like, go jump and swim in. That's always nice. Or, like, everyone goes to the beach. My uni is in a beach town, so at the moment, like, if it gets really hot, I just go to the beach with my friends. <laughs> it was hot the other week, and we just organized a beach party, but... Yeah, otherwise it's just... Uh... <laughs> unbearable here. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna stop arguing to myself about the metric system. And the Imperial system, because uh, I have just gone on for another 30 minutes when I was supposed to be stopping. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm really good at having these, like, post, like, what I'm supposed to be doing stream. Just, like, topic talks. And then, like, sometimes they're the funniest thing ever. We did one where we worked out, like, the mathematical... Not mathematical. We worked out the exact amount of subs it would require to buy the server infrastructure to store my brain <laughs> and like stuff like that I kind of love it <laughs> I need to start my streams earlier so it doesn't end up being like 1am every time <laughs> I take the blame for some of that <laughs> nah it's totally on me I just don't know where to stop especially because it's the first one back uh, but yeah thank you so much for coming by it's been a awesome stream and thank you very much space Smithman, for both the follow and the sub if anyone else is still around and hasn't followed already please do consider it 
Also, shout out to Cookie Life 5 for uh, coming by and lurking as well. Always nice to see you. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the frogs, and I will try and get to you a drawn frog as soon as possible. Uh, if you don't get one from me, please just poke me. It's not being rude. You deserve one. I owe you one. I just have ADHD and forget everything constantly. It's a real problem. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you very much for hanging out. Um, it's been really cool. It's been nice hanging out, nice talking to you. I will hopefully be back very soon, depending on how I'm feeling. It might even be tomorrow, we'll see. But take care. Yeah, you too. Uh, yeah, have a good one. Good night. And goodbye.